hello friends welcome back to my channel so today we are going to see another tutorial on Jenkins and in this tutorial we are going to see how we can integrate slack with Jenkins so if you don't know what is slack slack is a communication or a messaging or we can call it as a collaboration application so if you someone has used like Microsoft team or Skype you know we can use it to communicate with team members so with using slack we can easily collaborate uh, with team members so in this tutorial we will see how we can integrate slack we will be seeing how we can receive build success failure and other messages in the slack from jenkins okay so before i proceed i would request you to subscribe to my channel like the video share and comment so if you don't have any uh, slack account you can go to slack.com so you may think is it this free software or you know you have to pay so what you can do is you can go to the pricing section in the slack.com and you will be able to see uh, what kind of options you have so you do have an option for free slack which uh, gives some you know uh, options which is available so it's you know unlimited period of time and you can access around 10,000 of your team most in recent messages you can have 10 integration with other apps and the one-on-one -on -one voice and video call but if you want more uh, features you will have to go for some of other uh, uh, pricing models okay so I already have uh, an account with slack so I already have created an account uh, the tips for you in slack and I have also created the channel called Jenkins so if you want to create some channels you can add uh, here and you can create some channels okay so just click on uh, the channel and you can call whichever channel you want okay so you can also add uh, people into the channel so you'll have uh, multiple team members as part of the channel okay so you can see now two channels are there like docker and jenkins uh, these are some general channel a random it's uh, by default available okay so now before i proceed uh, more into slack section let me open uh, one of my sendos machine and uh, let me start a jenkins uh, docker instance okay so if you don't know how to set up docker uh, you please check my tutorials and also if you don't know how to set up jenkins uh, on docker please refer one of my tutorials so I will just run through it very quickly so I can create a Jenkins instance in docker okay so I'm going to run the command uh, docker run hyphen d u uh, with the root user and I'm going to run the other command so you you can if you know docker you will know a lot of this command what is the port what is the volume which we are attaching okay so let me just run this so okay I have a docker uh, container running now so it's on the port 8080 and the ip address of this machine in, uh, i can access it so let me access the jenkins instance first so the jenkins is getting ready now okay so we have to wait for this to be completed okay it's asking for the default or initial password which is inside my cd slash war slash jenkins and it should be under our secrets and it should be initial admin password okay so let me paste that i'll just uh, select uh, the default configuration so i will skip this section so we will see uh, once the jenkins uh, setup is completed okay so we are in the Jenkins home page now so I have skipped uh, some of the section uh, like uh, creating user account and uh, other details which you know you can see refer my other tutorial on Jenkins so in Jenkins uh, now we are in a fresh instance right so we don't have any jobs or nothing so before I proceed for creating job uh, what I would like to do is I will go to manage Jenkins and uh, we need to go to manage plugins okay and uh, let me check for available section and I will search for slack so you can see there is a plugin for slack notification so I will install uh, this plugin
okay so it's uh, successfully completed let me go back and if I go back to the manage Jenkins and configure system you scroll down You can see we have a section for Slack, right? And we have to give some uh, details here. So, for example, uh, this should be your team's uh, uh, workspace name, right? So, uh, similar way, we have to give some credential here, and uh, we have to give some default uh, member ID, right? So, let's uh, uh, do that. So, uh, in order to do this, I have to go back to my Slack uh, login so this should be my slack login and uh, it, it's not necessary that you have to use the slack uh, on the web browser i also have a slack uh, app installed on my computer so you can use this one as well okay so if i refresh this page okay so you can see docker jenkins okay so uh, let me go back to site administration and uh, you should go for manage apps so this will uh, actually open a browser okay it is uh, you can also go from in your uh, app itself so you can also go from the browser also it's, it takes this to the same place okay so in uh, manage apps you can manage browse apps so what we need to do is we need to install jenkins ci app so search for it and uh, select that and you have to click on add to slack okay so now uh, it is added so you have to do some configurations so you need to select a channel so i'm going to use uh, jenkins and you have to add to jenkins integration okay so now if you see it tells you what are the instructions we have to do so this slack notification plugin we have already installed okay and the uh, subdomain is going to be this one okay so uh, let's uh, configure our jenkins for this okay so uh, let's go back to our jenkins so the workspace is going to be the tips for you right so this will be our uh, slack uh, name right so the tips for you dot slack dot com okay so that should be your name if you read here it should be like like this okay and uh, we need to create a credential so let's go and to jenkins and add a creden credential so it's going to be a secret text and the secret text should be copied from here copy this and they can put that as your secret text okay. and you can add and you can select that as the secret text and uh, you can select you also need to select the default channel or members here so you can search how it should be so it should be starting with hash simple so it should be hash jenkins right and you can do the test connection now you can see it says success now immediately you see there is a message from slack as well right so let me save this I go back to slack you see uh, in the channel of Jenkins you got a message like you are all set on the Jenkins right so that means you are already connected uh, slack with Jenkins you can see the message in both uh, uh, browser and also from my uh, desktop app right so now let me go back to the Jenkins now let's create a job so let me call this as slack job and it's going to be a freestyle so let me scroll down to the build section okay so build I'm going to use some shell command so it's going to be go oh, testing slack migration okay and in the post build section you will have a option for slack notifications so select that and now if you see you have an option you can get message like build start uh, notify success it's aborted or not build unstable or you know even uh, every failure 
back to normal so I've just selected uh, three these four uh, options and let's let me save it okay now if you see my slack uh, channel for Jenkins we now have the message only with the integration part right this is my Jenkins uh, URL okay let me go back to my Jenkins job section and I'm going to build a job okay? now if you see I've started getting message uh, in slack you know? can see started by user admin and it's a success so what it does is like whatever message we have configured in slack uh, from Jenkins it started coming up here okay now let me try to uh, make some changes in the job we got message only for success because it's a success job right so let me try to make a failure here Because it's my uh, Jenkins is uh, uh, no, uh, it's a uh, CentOS, so I cannot run batch job here. So, but I'm just trying to put something to fail the uh, Jenkins job. Okay. Now, if you see the job is failed, right? If I go back to my Slack, you can see it's a failure after 74 seconds. So what does this uh, helps you is like slack you can have a channel where you can add uh, multiple team members so if you have a developer team or you have a testing team you can have all those people in the same channel and you know uh, they all can get these messages then you can respond you know I am looking into this issue so others can get a message yeah somebody is uh, looking into it so you know so uh, this way you know it's a very good collaborative software so you can make use of slack you can integrate with Jenkins and you know you can easily uh, notify everybody like what is status of your Jenkins job uh, in which section it's failed or if it's a failure for a test section you can send the message only for test team if it's for build a failure you can send it for developer team so you can use it this in the complete pipeline job itself so you can split it you know different stages right so you don't have to send the whole uh, message for uh, a single channel so you can have multiple channel and uh, depending upon which failure you can send uh, uh, the messages to which uh, team you want to notify so that's how we can make use of channel uh, in slack so i think you understood how we can install jenkins ci app uh, for Slack, then you can install the Slack notifier in Jenkins uh, plugin and how to configure with the settings, right? So that is all uh, for this tutorial. I hope uh, it's informative for you and uh, thank you for watching. Kindly subscribe to my channel, like the video, share and comment.